G'day guys, thanks for tuning in. Aaron here. We're continuing on, on the SUP build. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm uh, putting together a series of videos on how to build your own stand-up paddleboard, a 3 mil plywood epoxy and fiberglass, offering some free plans. If you want a copy of those plans, shoot me an email. The my email is in the description and I'll reply back with the plans. It's really simple. In this episode, we're going to install the epoxy fillets between the hull sides and the hull bottom and cover those over with fiberglass tape. Let's get started. So before we glue it together, we need to make sure that the sup is level. So I'm taking my long straight edge here, lying it up across the two panels and you can see there the bubble isn't in the middle. So to fix that, I'm going to wire down one side first and go across to the other side, wire it down, and then make some adjustments just to get the board perfectly level across. So I know my workbench is level. It's just about extending that level form to the top of the stuff. And you can see there, bubbles perfectly in the middle. Now I'm going to do the same on the bow. Put the board, put the, the spirit level across the two sides bubbles in the middle, same again behind midships or the middle of the board if you're not a sailor and then down there at the back or the transom and everything's lined up beautifully so we're, we're good to go, we're ready to, to start joining the panels. Now before I do this I needed to borrow one of my wife's sketcher socks because it's got a really thin sort of mesh and the the wood filler that I'm using, it, somehow it's got some chunks in there. I just needed to filter that out first. So I just thought I'd show you guys how to do that using an old Sketches sock. Uh, happy to know the sock survived. And there's the end product, really nice and fine. So mixing up the epoxy. Uh, at this point I was mixing up 100 grams to 40, 100 grams of resin to 44 grams of hardener. Uh, and I always mix for at least three minutes. That's three minutes of mixing right there. So just like with our plywood panels, it's a two-step bonding process. So we wet out the plywood first, which is what you see we're doing here. We don't need a lot of epoxy on there, just enough to get it wet. And that means when we put our uh, epoxy fillet, which is our thickened epoxy fillet, into those gaps, it's just going to get a stronger bond. Using the leftover epoxy and mixing in your wood filler to get a peanut butter consistency. Now, I feel that I didn't get this quite thick enough, and you might see that as I'm putting the thickened epoxy into the bag, which is what I'll use to squeeze out the fillets. Could be a bit thicker there, so keep that in mind when you're mixing your own epoxy and doing your own fillets. So take the bag out, give it a twist, all the epoxies down the bottom, cut the end off with some scissors, nice and sharp. Those scissors, by the way, they're uh, an old pair of Leatherman scissors that passed down from my wife's um, grandfather, which is pretty cool. And here we go, just pouring, squeezing the epoxy into the corners. Don't do too much, just enough to be able to get the radius of around 10 mil into that corner. And I'm using a bit of cut plastic with uh, a radius cut on my bottom edge. And you can see there, making those epoxy fillets in the corner. You'll notice that there's a bit of extra on the, the top and the side there of the, the epoxy fillet and I'll go back later and I'll clean that up with a bit of board and here I, here I go, I'm doing it now. Nice clean joints, no excess epoxy, it just means that when you put your, your fiberglass tape down, it, uh, it'll stick so much better. Try and keep everything as clean as possible too when you're doing a build. So before I started putting the fiberglass tape down here, and by the way, the epoxy fillets have gone hard. Um, so they're not gonna be sticking to the tape at this point in time. But you'll see that the inside of the sup, it's nice and clean. Trying to keep a really clean work environment. It means that the quality of your work is just gonna be that much better. And here's a view of the sup from the bow, showing you the, the fiberglass tape in those corners. And what I used here, I had some leftover uh, six ounce fiberglass cloth, which I cut into strips to use for the fiberglass tape. So mix the epoxy, and you'll see here that I'm starting in the corners. What I wanted to do is apply some of the unthickened epoxy in the corner of the tape, and what it does, that stops it from moving it around. And then I come back and wet out the rest of the tape. And the whole idea here is that the tape 
strengthens the bond between the hull sides and the hull bottom. So you've got to make sure you wet it out fully. Take your time. You should have enough epoxy to get the job done uh, one side at a time and then mix up some more and do the other side. If you, if you mix up a lot of epoxy and you try and do it all in one go, you may find uh, in your ambient temperature that the, the epoxy may start going off in your container. And this is the end result. Hi guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're really enjoying the process and you're following the build. Um, I'm having a blast making the videos and building this up and I can't wait to get it on the water. If you haven't already, subscribe, like the videos, share it with your mates, uh, keep watching the build process and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.